Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media. And I'm working on another unfinished project, which is also in conjunction, we'll work with um, another hashtag, uh, PM Artist Studio. They have a maker's, oh shoot. They have a maker's um, Facebook group. And so they have a challenge, which do you think I know where the paper is for the challenge? No. And I was getting ready to print it out, and then my husband called me, and then I forgot that's what I was doing. And then I started to um, work on this. I needed to figure this out before I came on camera because it's not that easy. <laughs> so, anyway, for February, the prompt is Accordion to You. And I always knew that I wanted to do this as an accordion um journal this like a little tag journal with these do you remember last may i think it was in may was it may it was hashtag 30 days of jelly printing 31 days of jelly printing bridget coopson jelly print challenge <coughs> i hadn't put this together yet because i lost pages 31 i lost page 31 30 and 31 i don't know what happened to Oh, there's the prompt. 30 and 31 are missing. When I find them, I'll add them to this. But I was like, all right, you know what? This is coming at a good time. I'm doing the 100, you know, hashtag 100 days of finishing stuff. 100 days, 100 day project. And then I've got the accordion to you in the makers group for PM Artist Studio. So I thought I would just go ahead and combine those two and make this little tag journal now I'm trying I'm hoping I'm leaving enough space here I know I need to leave enough space but then I need to leave the same amount of space on each one too or it's gonna get off and um, and then I'm, I'll make a cover for it so I left this here so and I actually well now those are way f I don't know how I like that anyway and then it ends up we're having the odd ones on this side and the even ones on this side and I could have put these all lined up, but I kind of liked them not lined up. So I started doing that. So that's how we're doing it. Like apparently, <laughs> unless we have some that it matters and then it's going to be like, well, that one's upside down now. See, this one's kind of, that's kind of the way it goes. Just because that's the way that goes. But the words are sideways, so it doesn't matter. So. It depends. What's important to me? Is this important to me? <laughs> Having that, like, you know, every other one be there? Yeah, that's probably. That will bug me more, I'm sure. So, yep. Yeah. Alright. So, I'm gluing this piece here. This is, the first one was the hardest one. I hope you didn't get to see that one. Sorry. And then I'm lining it up with the one next to it. And trying to leave about the same amount. I'm using our glitter glue, so I don't have a lot of time. So I'm trying to leave the same amount of space, too, because you have to leave some space or it's not going to fold right. But you have to leave the same amount of space or it's not going to match up when you do fold it. So, yeah, it's a little bit complicated. So the next one, just flip this over. This one doesn't... All right, so the next one will go here, but now I have to remember to put the next piece on. So this one bends, which way does this one bend? That bends that way, so this one bends this way. So this one's gonna bend this way. I'd already cut out my pieces. They're just parchment paper, which is like probably like a 28 pound paper. Uh, I didn't want to use cardstock, that was gonna be difficult. And also, since I can't match these up perfectly, I'm not. I did this one down here in the middle, then I think I would did up here, down here, and then I'm doing the middle. And then I'll do up here. So, yeah, real. Uh, yeah, I'm, this is what I want. I mean, it doesn't matter too much because I can always refold it to go the other way. It's just easier if I do it the right way the first time. All right. So I want this one to bend going this way. 
So I'm going to go ahead and glue it on here. What I have found it to be a little bit easier is if I just, I butt it right up against there and then I just don't worry about the other part afterwards. So now, a little art glitter glue, at least around the edges, if nowhere else. A little bit in the middle. I don't want it to become super stiff, which is why I'm not doing a lot in the middle. I don't think that I'm going to sew this. I had thought about sewing these pieces in, but I kind of am liking the clean look too, so... And I just have to make sure that gets nice and dry. And then I'm going to flip it over again. And I just glued in this piece. So now we're on number nine. Which we used a tube, apparently. Yep, they don't go together. It's okay. I almost thought about just kind of mixing them up and doing them in any order. And if I had taken the number off, that would have been easier. But it's all right. It's still not in order. It's even on one side and odd on the other side. And it's just whatever it is is. At least it'll be together in a book. All right, turning this over. This one was bottle cap. Going down here. And need another one of these. I hope I have enough of these. I don't know if I do or not. So that one's bending that way. So we want this one to bend this way. So it's going to be easier to glue it on this side. Right? Random, isn't it? It feels random. It's not necessarily. And I'm just buttoning that right up and gluing that on. And then just gluing the whole card on. And hoping for the best when I'm done with this. So PM Artist Studio is Patricia and Mariah. You have seen them mentioned. If you watch Gail Gustinelli, they have sent her stuff from their shop. They have an online shop, um, pmartiststudio.com, I think it is. So you can go check them out. They, uh, Patricia was is the mom. Mariah, Mariah is the daughter. Patricia was an art teacher. She does a lot of jelly plate printing. And Mariah is a digital creator. And together they make a great team and they're just funny. They do a live on Sunday mornings. You should go check that out. You should, you should, you should. They're funny. So they're, they do a monthly challenge. I think today is, well, I'm actually making this on Saturday. But because it's day eight for the 100 day project, I actually won't go up till Sunday. So I'm a little behind, but that's okay. Mariah says I can do it whenever. So there's that. All right, so this one goes this way. So we need this one to go. Shoot, that one goes. This is the hard part. I'm telling you right now, the hardest part is. All right, so this one will go this way. So I'm gluing this on here. And I'm back to the middle. I mean, if I wanted them all in the middle, I could have, and I could have measured it, or I could have just not worried about if it was lined up perfectly each time, or I could have eyeballed it. Wouldn't have mattered. None of this really. You just do, you just wing it. You just wing it like I'm doing and do the best you can. All right, well, since I'm playing with jelly plate prints right now, and I got to watch a, f a fun live, Kara and Denise, you guys were fun to watch, but you gave me an idea. I mean, I'm no expert, but I figured I can try. So what are some common issues you come up with when you are trying to jelly plate print, use jelly plate? Um, like one person, <clears throat> we won't mention her name, tends to put a lot of, um, paint down when she's doing it and she actually she did ask she said well how do you not like how or how do you how do you know it's the right amount of paint how do you fix it when you put too much paint stuff like that so I thought well that's one thing I could cover um you know show what I do I mean this I don't consider it a tutorial because honestly I don't know what I'm doing I watch other people I try my best I 
try things. Some things work for me, some things don't. But there are some things like, you know, how do you take excess paint off that I, I could do. I could figure that out and, and show you, you know, what I do when that happens. Because it happens to me. No one's perfect here. No one's claiming to be perfect. So if you do jelly plate printing and you have, you find that there are some things that um, confound you, like, you know, like, why, why doesn't this work when I try it? Then let me know and we will see if there's a fix. See, uh, you know, like, or see, you know, if there's a, a, a better way to do it. I don't know. Sometimes there are right and wrong ways when it comes to that kind of thing, maybe. But I don't know. I thought it might be nice to do a video with some jelly print jelly plate printing um, hacks or tricks, tips and tricks maybe, or just tips, just, uh, I don't know, maybe tips, just of, of how I figured out how I work with those things. So in the, in the comment section, let me know if you struggle with certain areas of jelly plate printing and let's see if I can figure that help figure that out for you okay how are we doing I'm trying to wait for the glue to dry before I do this but okay so so far it's looking good it's gonna be thick I mean it's like 30 or will be 31 pieces in the end pieces of um index card I did use index card for everything I'm lining them they're lined up fairly well it may end up looking like this when I'm done but that's all right that's just what it's going to be. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Oh, I hate that. And you see, I used a lot of colors. Now, I guess if I knew I was going to... I don't know that that would have changed anything. So I'm going to say if I knew I was going to be... But I did know I was going to be making a book out of it. And I still didn't worry about it. I didn't know what kind, how I was going to put them together. But I knew at some point I'd be putting them together. So... I know I pressed it down and then I was like, no, I need a little less space than that. I tried to cut these all the same size. All right, so this one goes that way. So the next one is going to go this way and we're back in the middle, right? Sorry, I have glue on my fingers. So have you guys, anybody else been inspired to finish some stuff? That's kind of been sitting. Any items you've been procrastinating on that you've been inspired to go ahead and work on? Or are you just going on with your own, this is what you feel like doing? That, that's really what I want to do sometimes. I'm just, I just want to do what I feel like doing. But I was actually kind of surprised. One of the things, the thing yesterday, the journal, it sat there for several months before I finally finished it. I can't remember when I actually put it together. Probably last summer, maybe? I don't know. But then it took me less than an hour. Obviously, these are not all exactly the same size. How will we deal with that? Hmm, I don't know. This one's like totally crooked. I think what I might do is line the top and the bottom and then I'll have that issue there and I'll cut here. Sometimes you're just gonna have to figure stuff out along the way. Maybe, if you can, <laughs> if you're able to. It's not always as easy as it seems. Oh look, there's sunshine. Just in this one spot. Probably makes it hard for you guys to see. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, now we have that big gap there, but it's all right. It's fairly straight. Hmm, somewhat straight here. That or I would have had a gap on the top and the bottom. I mean, I can always put a piece of washi tape there, I guess. If it, 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 it's still, it's just, this is basically a record of, whoops of my um, 
of my time doing the 31 days of jelly plate printing. That's it. The X's and O's. See? The X's and O's. I think this was last May when I did this. So, you know, it's taken, it's been sitting here waiting. And still, even when I like moved all my stuff down here, I still have not found. I will, hopefully, when I'm doing my finishing my projects, maybe they'll turn up the days 30 and 31. We'll see. So, yep, making an accordion journal, not that hard. Uh, there's, well, you'll see this on Sunday, unless I decide to go ahead and put it up, but it's, it'll, there'll be a hop. Just gotta go this way. Okay. Some of my letters are gonna be upside down, but, wait, that goes that way? That goes that way. So that's going to go that way. So this one needs to go this way. Oh, and um, the extras of these, I've actually made some um, some impresslets with them. And so like this black and white one, um, I haven't put it in my shop yet though. I've made some like medallions and the wings and the butterflies. And they, they actually look kind of cool with the black and white like that. I think, that's my opinion. My somewhat humble opinion. So this is one way to make an accordion journal. You just use your um, little tab pieces. You just want them to be strong enough to last, to, to, you know, to last the folding in and out. That will happen. on this and since the parchment paper it's not quite as thick as cardstock but it's oh see I thought I had oh it's because of this piece here it's causing me issues because I didn't cut enough off of there where's my longer oh that won't help anyway it was that one being crooked which has now messed them all up because now that sticks out further than I want it to. Making this a little bit more difficult to fold. And I just, I keep hitting stuff. I guess I'm feeling a little bit crowded right now. All right, here we are. Back on the front. We're back on the, the odd side. This one was lines. So I thought if I did this, you guys would get to see again the jelly plate prints that I made last year during this challenge. That one I found difficult to keep up with. So I often did like two, two or three in one video. You know how it, you know how it is. Oh shoot, am I gonna have to cut up more of these? I thought I had enough, but I'm seeing that I probably do not. So, before I run out of them, let me measure one. Where's my thicker parchment paper? See, I have different parchment paper. I've got like the more lightweight, like that's probably 20 pound. Uh, and then this is more like a, it actually feels like a 32 pound. Not totally sure which is which, but yeah. That's pretty sure, pretty sure. Now, um, I was going to look for my cutter, but since these don't have to be perfect, although it would cut faster with longer scissors, here we go, and these probably, I probably cut this all out of one page, and it's probably this in half, yep, so I'm just going to fold this in half. And then this is an inch wide. And then I just, in case you were wondering what my measurements were on these, because I never did say, did I? And then we have not too many more. I'm not sure if I need one more of these or not. Going this way, aren't I? I remember now. Okay. 
So now I've got a couple more to work with. Well, four more to be technical. And most of it gets hidden, so it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, right? I'll probably come back here later, too, and use my bone folder. Uh, you could also use pieces of fabric, pieces of cardstock. I just would not use 20-pound paper, copy paper. I don't think that's going to be <coughs> what you want. I, excuse me, you can use index cards. For those that are new, this annoying cough that I have, which is probably more annoying, to, well, maybe it's just as annoying to you, is a residual from um, COVID. Yep, never went away. That's, that's what I get to deal with. On a, my cat, I don't know, I gave her lunch. I don't, you might not be able to hear her meowing, but she's up there crying. Oh, Nathan's probably in the bathroom. So that means there's a door that's closed. And she cries about that too. Bless her heart. Now, if you can also do this where your hinges show, like if you have papers that you didn't want to glue pages together like I'm doing, your hinges would just show. That's all. Nothing wrong with some hinges showing. I've got some that I've made where the hinges show. Um, and then I've also made accordion journals where I've, um, you know, just kind of collaged paper um, and then folded that. Uh, if you watch Meg Journal, she makes them like that. But since, you know, like I said, I was combining. Oh, this is going to be fun together. <laughs> That's not going to hurt anybody's eyes. I don't know why I lined that up first. All I have to do is just stick the glue on there <laughs> and hope for the best. Like I say, you got to let go of perfection. Although some things you got to be a little more precise than others. Like if you're trying to line up for a accordion journal, you got to be at least a little bit precise. Otherwise, when you look at this, it's going to prob possibly go like that if you're not precise. As it is, mine's kind of like going like this. But I'll just make my cover and my back cover big enough to cover that issue. Yeah, ideally, you want this to all line up. But mine's not doing that. Even though I cut everything the same and I'm trying to do all my spacing the same. So, sometimes that's just what happens. So, let's see. That one goes that way. So, this one's going to go this way. And we're at the top. Real precise stuff going on here. And should have an even number for the next one, which we do. This was, oh, image transfer. That was, I did Whoopi Goldberg too, but this was just like it was a picture, for, a rand, uh, kind of more of an abstract. It gave me more of an abstract look. It was from a magazine. Look how clean that one is on the back. That doesn't happen much, does it? back over again. This is colorful and fun, isn't it? I don't like it. All right, let's see. Drop shadows. What's next? Oh, orange. I was like, what? They're, they're not the same. They're two different flowers. But so I, I don't know. I like to offset my circles. I'm doing it again. I may have to go back through and add some glue to the corners. Could even sew around the edges, I guess, if I wanted to. That would just make it so much thicker. So, yeah, I don't think I want to. you got to think about that stuff, too. Like, if I were to go ahead and sew around each edge of each one of these, yes, it would make it stronger. But it would make it so thick. Oh, got to put on our next piece. Can't get ahead of ourselves. I said, my son got a new job. And I was over near his job at the grocery store that's over there. So now this one will be down here. So 
easier. Wait. Wait, which way is this going? Can you guys just keep track of that for me and yell at me? Yeah. Alright, so this one's going to go this way. Okay, so we're doing that on here. Okay. thought we just did one on there. I have no idea. Let's hope I'm going the right direction. Is that one supposed to be in the middle? Do we know? Do we, yeah, this one goes in the middle. Doesn't really matter. Chances are I'm going to get off track at some point. This would have been possibly the point, or maybe I already did and I don't even know it. Who knows? You can use tacky glue. You can use... Well, you probably could use a uh, glue stick. The only problem with that with what I'm using is that sometimes there's paint on the back of my cards here. And that's why I want something that's a little bit stronger that I know is going to stick really well. Alright, now number 25. Getting glue everywhere because that's what we want? No, that's not what we want. Oh, these ended up being right up next to each other. One of these is a little bit taller than the other. I'm going to line up my top bit. Okay, trying to get that tiny space in there. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this. For some reason, that one was just a little bit taller than the other ones. I don't know why. Turning it over. Sleep. Oh my goodness, my niece, when she was 18 months old, she used to do little somersaults and she'd be like, sleep, sleep. She was so cute. She doesn't remember that. I remind her of it though, all the time. Up, middle, down. All right. And this one goes this way. So this one is going to go. Oh, well, I guess they can all go this way. What? What was my? Wait. Hmm. I don't know why I was being weird before, and I don't know. <sighs> Apparently, it works on this side, no matter which way I'm going. Maybe. No. Maybe I messed up. I'm just my head. I'm getting up and don't get up in your head. Just enjoy the process. Uh, let's see. What else can we talk about? Um, 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 um. This is like me and alive. Like, hmm, what do I talk about? Although sometimes I think about things ahead of time. I'll be like, because my friend Lori likes when I like kind of like give reports on what I've seen on YouTube. That way she can decide if she wants to go see it or not. Boy, this one wants to be all off and wonky too, but it doesn't look quite as bad on the bottom there. Just straighten it up. I could straighten it at the end. I know. You do anything you want, people. Alright, 27, 28, 29, right, 25, 26, 27. Obviously, if precision was something that I was good at, then these would all be the exact same size. <laughs> I wouldn't have this issue. Let's go line it up at the bottom. That way, if I have to trim it, I'll trim it at the top. All right, flipping it. Beep. She was so cute. Little bald-headed three-year-old. No, not 18-month-old. She took her a long time to get hair. <laughs> just on her head. She's just... And now she's a marine biologist. I know people say they're marine biologists. She's actually a marine biologist. She's pretty smart. Just the one. This this is these are the kind of colors I I um usually go to like here, here, here. The brighter colors and sometimes not so much. But last year especially I was the teals and the 
oranges and the um this bright green that i got the green gold i think that is how we got it then all right where are we is this right Gent. Gent. that one goes that way that one goes that way so this one goes this way and we're back to the middle right yep the paint all over the back of this one and I'm just lining this crease up against the side and worrying about where it hits when I glue the other bit on I think I said that just repeat myself I just go ahead and pause well at this rate I'm almost done so I won't pause and we can just pretend that what I did was really interesting and cool and you watched every second of it even though we know you're crafting or you're doing dishes or <laughs> playing a game and I'm up in the corner when you're playing a game on your phone. I know how it goes. A lot of times I'll do that. Either I'm craft a lot of, yeah. A lot of times though when I'm crafting, I'm recording. So I can't really play so much then, can I? Okay, now this is where I have to end it because I can't find number 30 and 31 and I will wait to finish the back side when I find that. However, I may want to, I don't know which one I want, but I just want that to be straight. What I may want to do is put a cover on Did I not give it enough space there? Possibly. So then that'll go over, you know, there'll be one more thing on the back. So how about a cover? What can we do for a cover? Well, that's kind of boring. I mean, I've got all this beauty. Oh, I should do. Too bad all of these have probably already been, all the extra pieces have already been used. It would have been fun to do like a collage cover. That would have been fun. Um, yeah, I didn't think this part through, but let's just go ahead and just grab this piece of cardboard here on the back of this coloring book. Apparently I've already taken off the front piece, so why not take off the back piece too? And then if I want to later on, I can, I want to make this a little bit bigger also. I want to cut it nice and straight. So there's two ways I could do that. If I can't find my paper cutter, which seems to possibly be the case, I could use a, uh, I could use uh, an X-Acto knife, or I could draw a line and use scissors. I don't know which one I want to do. I kind of just want to draw a line and cut with scissors. That's like an old fashioned way of cutting things, feels like now. I'm looking for something to write with, don't mind me. Hmm, cut it right here, I think. And. I mean, I may put something else over it. I just wanted something nice and sturdy for this. Ruler? Ruler. Ruler? I sound like Ruler? Ruler? So what I like about this ruler is you just line up your lines across the bottom and it should be straight. Maybe that's where I go wrong in my precisionness. And where do we want to cut it? Or are we going to do it up in the middle, maybe? Maybe. Alright, let's just cut this first piece. The end. That's what it says at the top of that page. Didn't mean that it was the end of this video. Although it probably should be. You can use whatever you want for your cover. Um, I believe that... <coughs> excuse me. I believe that... When Gail made her accordion journal, she used, well, no, I know she used a book cover. I don't know why I think I believe it. 
I know it to be true. Is that where I want it? I want it to sort of line up with the bottom of the actual book. And the top. Of course, sometimes the top is one way, sometimes it's another. Okay, line up that line. Try to keep this line straight. What's nice about this is it's the right side up, no matter which, which way I do it. This might have been the perfect cover for an accordion journal. <laughs> might never be able to tell which is the top and which is the bottom. All right, I'm going to glue this on the inside. I'm still going to open this up and line that up and leave that tiny space like I've been leaving everywhere. And then I'm probably gonna wanna do something to hold that on better. Even if it's just like less thick. I just use a piece of washi tape for now just to make sure it doesn't come off. Stick a piece of washi tape on there for now, just to help it. There we go. So I'm not going to put the back cover on until I have find my last two pages because one will get glued here, and then one will be like, like say this is my back cover. One will cover the back cover, and the other one will be the back cover. Does that make sense? Hmm, I don't know. Actually, I probably can go ahead and attach it. You know why? Because I think I can. Alright. Let's get a straight line. Old-fashioned way. Going old-fashioned with our straight lines. Those trees are kind of tall is my problem. And so I want this side up. plate pen is just not I have several of them and who knows how many I ruin them some you know you're not supposed to use um your pens on wet paint and if you do you pretty much ruin them but it doesn't matter what kind of pen it is if it's actual wet paint the gel pens are a little bit better a little bit uh more forgiving let's say And there and there. Again, going with that precision. Measuring twice. Have you ever seen me measure anything twice? If so, I must have really cared about that project. I mean, this one I can't even hardly see the line. Hoping for the best. There we go. Now, the reason that I can put this on is because number 30 is going to go here, and then number 31 is going to go here. And then this will be the back cover. That's why I decided that I could do this. So that's going to go that way, except it's going to go down. There we go. Just going to put 
put this down here, sort of. And then I'm gonna put glue just here on this part. And I'm gonna turn this over so I can see the other side. Which makes the glue on this side now. Okay, hold on. Don't mind me. Kinda of want these to line up. Well, that moved everything. See, precision, I'm telling you, this is the way to be totally, <laughs> it's a way to totally mess up your project, really. Okay, that's not right. Oh, I see the problem. See, because I went off the edge here, and if I go off the edge, oh my goodness, what the heck? We'll be cutting some stuff down. That's what's going to happen. Because this is messed up. I'm actually going to come over on this one, I think. Maybe. Fold that there. And another piece is going to be glued onto here. I'm going to put a piece of washi tape there just to hold that for now. A little bit better. Man, this feels really crooked and wrong. It might be. It might be totally crooked and wrong. Alright. So I've left a much bigger... No, that's not even... What did I do wrong? See? Now do you understand the title of my channel? <laughs> up. I think that it might be crooked. What do you think? See, this side is straight. I think that side might be a little bit on the crooked side. How'd that happen? Well, we need a little bit shorter anyway, because messing me up back there. No, it's not crooked. Everything looks straight. Is this crooked? Alright, All right. see somehow I lined that up down at the bottom better than I did at the top, so I'm probably or the top, wait, which is the top? <laughs> Alright, this is the problem with using a cover that can go either way. You don't know what's what. Okay. But you want it to line up at the bottom. That just, I might cut that down at the top. We'll see. Do, do, do. See, when I turn it this way, that one's going to want to stick out. And then, do you see my problem? Do you see the problem I'm having? Maybe not. Maybe I'm making it more of a problem than it needs to be. Let's just attach it. Let's just do that. I'm lining up at the bottom because that's what we want the bottom to pretty much line up. This one, it almost lines up. Okay. Stick this washi tape on there so it doesn't just fall right off. Oh my goodness. People, something's not right. It's, it's my lack of precision. I think I'm going to end up cutting this back one off. And that way, I'm probably going to end up cutting both of them off. All right. How did Gail do it? I don't know. Well, she had a lot less pages. That helped. All right. I think my book's not straight. <laughs> That's part of my problem. See, this looks straight right here, but then the whole book is at an angle, sort of. So I think... Well, I'm going to cut these covers down, but I think what I'm going to have to do is... Try to force my pages to line up and just kind of put them under a book somewhere. 
either way. Aren't you so proud of me, Patricia and Mariah? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so messed up. All right, I shouldn't have left that long. That's part of the problem. We're just going to cut it off. That's what we're going to do. Short's probably better than long in this case, which actually I wouldn't mind if my cover was a little bit on the short side. That would not bother me. Because then the front, then that piece would show. Okay, that's better. All right, I'm finishing something. That's the important part, right? Is that I'm finishing it? I'm lining it up with the line on the ruler. It's really not a lot to cut off, but having the line will help me cut it more straight than if I just tried to cut it. Maybe I should have cut it on that side. But wasn't I just trying to do this? I know you probably can't see a line. There's an indent from where I drew the line. That's where I draw the line. That's where you draw the line. That's where I draw the line. I, I know I'm weird. I'm okay with it. If I can be okay with it, you can be okay with it. Is this where it was? Yeah, I think so. And then, where was I? To oh my goodness gracious. Yep. All right, let's see. See, that is way crooked. That's not right. I gotta fix that line before I cut it. That one looks fairly straight. surprised this hey it's still staying together after me like tugging at it all this so you don't want to make your covers bigger than the inside that's what we've learned today because um they need to be the same size otherwise it totally messes you up because each side is going to come out differently what did i do that's supposed to, oh man that's all right this was supposed to be on the inside here i don't I messed up. I don't know how I did that, but that's all right. I'm going to put a fresh tape of washi there. And now I'll know which is the back because it has the washi tape on it. Which is upside right. I have to... All right, there's the bunny. So this is upside right. So this will help because it has words that go this way up here at the top. I'll just make sure I use some of those words. But I'll know that this is the back now. Not that, the, I mean, there's not supposed, they're both supposed to be fronts on an accordion journal. But really, this one starts with one. No, wait. This one's, I'm going to have to mark at the top. <laughs> now, what I could do is I could put a little tab right there, and then I'll know whichever way I turn that that's the top like oh no flip open up there so there's the odd ones because I didn't feel like doing figuring it out in my head how to do it the other way and here's the even ones which are backwards the even ones going backwards yes there was too much thought process involved to try to get them all in order I but now they are all together and to, well, they're almost, once I find the last two, they'll all be together. So I'm putting a tab right here, but that's all. That's the only thing I'm going to do after I get off here is, uh, oh no, I don't I have to. I'm like, I thought I had to find them. I don't. I have lots of tabs and that way I'll know which is the front. Yay. And it's another jelly plate print. Well, actually, it might just be painty paper. I don't know. Does it matter? It's all fun and pretty. I should put a... 
because it's all paint and art and stuff created by me. There, okay. Now I'll know. This is the top. I'll probably forget. I'll be like, well, didn't I? See, this is the problem. When you do a cover like this, you don't know which is up and which is down. <laughs> there you go. That's it. I hope you all have a delightful day. Have a sublime Sunday or whatever day it is that you watch this. And this is my 100-day project, 100 days of finishing stuff. Plus, it'll be in the hashtag for the makers and accordion to you. Get it? According to you, accordion to you. That's just the kind of fun stuff you get in the makers group on Facebook. I'll try to link that too. Y'all have a delightful day. Love you.